will welcome back some scattered showers and thunderstorms ongoing in parts of Nebraska. You can see those gradually pushing to the southeast this morning, and that will continue to be the trend throughout this morning. We'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms not expected to be widespread by any means. And for most areas, this precipitation really won't amount to much this morning, but there's still a chance for some lingering activity even into this afternoon, but will still be very scattered in nature. Otherwise, temperatures this morning, 60s and 70s. We are right at 71 degrees currently in Oberlin, right at 70 in Imperial as well. That compares to 67 in Albion, and we're currently at 66 in Hebron. Temperatures will warm today. We are looking at temperatures in the 80s and 90s, but very dependent on how much cloud cover sticks around throughout the daytime hours today. We are looking at that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms this morning and into this afternoon, and then there's a possibility over the weekend. Saturday night, a chance comes in first for northern Nebraska as a cold front starts to move through and that chance moves farther to the south as we head into the day on Sunday. But all the chances for the Tri-Cities within the next seven days looking very spotty in nature at this time. Otherwise, temperatures will gradually warm as this week goes on. We'll get closer to average for this time of year as we head toward Friday and staying near that average mark into the weekend as well. But Unfortunately, starting tomorrow, that humidity returns as well. Moisture starts to come back in. Dew point levels start to rise, and we'll see dew point values near that 65 degree mark or higher starting tomorrow afternoon and into the weekend as well. So certainly going to be feeling that humidity once again into this weekend. But looking at rain chances for the Tri-Cities in the coming days, we have a scattered chance for showers and thunderstorms throughout today. Should see dry conditions into tonight, and then dry conditions are expected Friday and into Saturday for the Tri-Cities before that chance is back with that frontal passage that is expected to move through as we head into the day on Sunday. Could see some shower and storm activity near that front as we head toward the Saturday time frame. Otherwise, today for the Tri-Cities, 83 for a high later on this afternoon. Scattered showers and storms a possibility throughout today along with a mix of sun and clouds throughout today and south winds picking up a bit, especially this afternoon. We could see some gusts up to around 20 miles per hour. Otherwise, as we head into tonight, mid 60s for a low with passing clouds and quiet conditions into tonight. Winds not expected to be quite as strong, but could still see those winds up to around 15 miles per hour. And then tomorrow we'll drop. We'll top out around 88 degrees, so it is going to be a warmer day. Plenty of sunshine for our Friday along with light winds expected for Friday as well. Looking at highs for today, 80s and 90s are forecast across Nebraska and northern Kansas, mainly lower 80s for the eastern and central part of the state. But as you head farther to the west, upper 80s to near that 90 degree mark are forecast by this afternoon. And then overnight, we'll mainly see those 60s, the one exception out in Shattern looks like they could drop down to around 58 in the overnight hours. But elsewhere, we should see those lows in the 60s for the overnight hours than tomorrow. 80s and 90s warmer, at least by a few degrees for the Tri-Cities, but closer to average for this time of year as well. So temperatures will actually remain fairly steady in the coming days. We'll see highs in the upper 80s to near that 90 degree mark beginning Friday, continuing through Wednesday. So technically today, one of our cooler days within the next week, but really not any big swings in those temperatures. All right.